Hey and welcome to Neverwinter the Argon. So with this new zone, Dragonbone Vale, we have these three areas. We also have this new treasure map system. This system where you're going to have to go and find those Dragon Sight artifacts, activate them, and then go and locate the treasure to dig them up. So we'll do that with this exact treasure here. Now, to find this one, you can see it's up here. You're gonna to need to use the grapple and it's up in the northern section there, very close to the campfire. And you can see the coordinates there as well. And I shall first go through each of those locations, show them to you manually, and then I'll show you a map with all of them so you can easily find them. So the way the system works is you'll activate the Dragon Sight artifact, you'll get that Dragon Sight, and then you need to find the beacon. You can see it there up in the sky. So what we simply just do is make our way over to there. And then depending where it's located, you might have to do a bit of parkour or just dig it up from the ground like so. Now the main treasure that you will obtain is these dragon jewels. And those will be needed to get your faction reputation. You can get a whole bunch of those just by digging up the treasures. Now what you will also obtain is we'll go to the next dragon site artifact and we just head up this way. Again, we're gonna have to grapple to it and it's just adjacent to these group two groups here up on this ledge and we can see it's up top there again these are the coordinates and again we can activate it the same as usual and we can get that beacon and we can make our way to it now keep in mind that these dragon sight artifacts can only be activated once per hour so we are limited and there are, I believe, nine total of those Dragon Sight artifacts. Again, we just got jewels, and we got up to six of them this time. And you can get up to a total of eight of them. That's the maximum I've obtained from a drop. So each of these areas will have three of those Dragon Sight artifacts. The third in this final area up here will just be this one right here. And we can see again, this coordinates on the map and this is where it's located, where I'm adjacent to and you would have seen then the video footage of where to get to. Activate it, again, we can see our beacon and we'll make our way to it. Now, each of the locations of where the treasure is actually located is completely random, but it will always be located within the zone or within this smaller area at which you activate the dragon site artifacts. So you won't have to go too far and you should be able to locate that beacon fairly easily. So there's no real point for me to map out the exact locations where you'll have to dig them up because you'll be very clearly shown by the beacons. It's just about those dragon site artifacts and where they are located so you can find them very easily and that way you don't have to go hunting around. But of course, once you know them, then it's very easy. Now this one, we're gonna have to get up on top of that bridge. So we're just gonna grapple up to here, then over to this one, and we can see our dragon site artifact just sitting there nice and majestic again we'll have to go and interact with it now currently one of the nodes is bugged and you can see this one was lit up even before i went and activated the dragon site artifact and i believe that's for testing purposes but we can see the one that actually lit up for us was over there we dig it up and this time we got some more jewels just three now the next dragon site artifact is just up here on this rocky outcropping Again, on the map, just here. The one previously was on a bridge just over here. So we've activated that one. And again, we can see our beacon is over there. This one again being just bugged. We have to grapple up to this treasure point. We dig it up and we just get there. You can see some new ones, which is a Dragonborn Veil alloy. And they will be collected within our campaign store here. You can see we have over 600 of them. And they'll be used to go and upgrade the gear pieces that you will see you'll be able to do so. And for example, this armor piece, we can upgrade to legendary from the purple version, which we have in our inventory. Now, the final dragon sight artifact in this area is we're going to have to grapple up to here. You can get stuck on a tree like we just did. We grapple up, make our way along this path. And the dragon sight artifact is just here. Again, we'll interact with it. And keep in mind, you can only have one interacted with at a time or one activated at a time. So you should only ever see one beacon. Again, that node there is bugged and it's just always displaying. We can always interact with it. It's handy for testing purposes because then we can gain an infinite amount of jewels. So again, we'll dig this one up and we can just get some more jewels. 
Now that's those three complete in this bottom area. So we finally make our way down to the bottom area. Now, another reward you can obtain, which is relatively rare, about a 5% drop rate, is these dragons weapon cache. Now, what they are needed for is to literally just give you your weapons for your class. What you do is you'll open it and you can see you'll have a choice from all of those weapons. Let's have a look if it's bound. It is indeed bound to your account. You can pop it on any of your characters, but let's say we're on a rogue. We can go and claim those. We again will just gain the pack there, which we can again go and open and it'll just give us our weapon set there, which when we look on the collections is these weapons here, the antique weapons. And you can upgrade those to the legendary ones, which I'll make a full video on actually upgrading those and the process to grind them and whether they're actually worth upgrading or not. So we've made our way to this area here. It looks somewhat similar to like Dread Ring in terms of its aesthetics with all the graveyard of the dragon bones. And here we have our next dragon site artifact. Again, on the map, just located where I am, and we interact with it. We get the same mechanic. We activate that beacon. We have a look around. It's just over there. And again, we just dig it up. And there we obtain just one jewel from that one. Then we can make our way further along, just up this way along this path. We come to the bones, which are just here. And what you can do is just parkour your way up it, jump a little and up the bone. And here we have our second dragon sight artifact in this area. Again, activating it, get our dragon sight and our beacon is just over there. And just down here we have our treasure, which we'll again go and dig up. And this time we just get five jewels. We can make our way across this bridge and we will find our next dragon sight artifact at the very top of this outcropping or just on a ledge there. And we have to activate this grapple. We activate that and we'll end up up here. And again, on the map, that's just this location here. The previous one was by those bones just over here. And we activate it and this being our final ninth one. And again, our treasure is just located way off over there. And that was our final ninth treasure. All we got was some dragon jewels and one dragon bone veil alloy. So it's a pretty rare drop rate. Now, if you want to go and do these again, you will have to wait a whole hour before those dragon site artifacts activate and allow you to interact with them again. So you're limited there on a cooldown, how often you can do it. So we are time gated as to gain those rewards. Now the rewards again that you will obtain from these dragon sight artifacts is this dragon bone veil alloy, which we will again need to upgrade certain pieces of gear. And you will also just get a whole bunch of these jewels, which you get in your currency section here. And these jewels, you can simply go and in the campaign store, select a faction and donate those jewels to rank it up. And then you can obtain like companion equipment or vanity pets or some fashion, so on. Not exactly what you're looking for. Mainly what you want is the Dragon Bone Veil alloy. And then you also want to try and get this dragon's weapon cache to get your set of weapons for your character. I've opened like, I believe, over a thousand of these dragon treasures and I have nearly a hundred of those dragon weapon caches. Now this is the full map of all of those locations. The location at the red axe with the coordinates nearby it. Again, you see we have three up there, three in the middle here and three down here. We currently have nothing up here and we probably won't do. So again, I'll have a link in the description below where you can just download this and you can always go and just screenshot it as well and feel free to share with your friends. This should be helpful for you guys when module 22 comes around and you can then easily find all of those dragon weapon artifacts. And then you can go and dig up your treasures and hopefully you get lucky to try and obtain your new weapon set. Those of us on Endgame with like Lionheart weapons or even Mirage weapons probably won't contest against these. But for tanks and healers, they can give a decent benefit there, especially for newer players. This zone isn't too difficult. And in my opinion, the way it is now, it's going to be easier to kill enemies than it has been in New Sharandar. So with that said, hopefully this has been somewhat insightful and helped you guys just what to expect with the new treasure system.
my opinion, I like it. I like that digging up the treasures is always going to be in a somewhat random area of a selection points. And those dragon site artifacts are always in the same place, so you know where to go. What I don't like about it is the cooldown timer is full hour. It would be much nicer if you could continually keep farming this. So once you've finished and done your ninth one, you could go back and do your first one. So let's say 10 minute cooldown for all of them. However, Cryptic Studios are what they are and they want you to play the game longer. So I guess they want to limit you with time there so it will take you longer so you'll come back the next day and actually play their game. So with that said, hopefully I presented this well. If I did, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.